Hi guys, my name is Kimmy from the Bridget Library and today we're going to be making our Mother's Day jewelry dish. So this is what you should have gotten in your kit. So you should have gotten two pieces of white clay and depending on what color you picked, blue or pink, um, if you had blue, you got two pieces of blue and one piece of dark gray. And if you had pink, you should have two pieces of pink and one piece of purple. You should have also gotten a little container, so one says Mod Podge and one is some gold paint. You should have also gotten a plastic butter knife and a paintbrush. And then I included a couple handouts in your your kit. So I added this template right here. Um, you can you cut out the circle shape. So you will need some scissors if you choose this step. Um, you can cut out the shape and it can help you make the shape of your dish. Or you can make your dish like a heart shape. I gave that as an option if you'd like to try that out. I also gave you a little note in there just to tell you the temperature of the oven and how long to bake it for, just in case. Um, I say it wrong in this video. This paper will definitely be correct. I also included this was just because um, I found them and I thought they were really cool. I uh, added some Mother's Day coupon um, book template that you can make for you. So um, these are like the covers that you can choose for your coupon book, and then you can write some things that you can do for your, your mom or your grandma or whoever you're making um, this for, or you can use this separately for something else. So you can do that. I would do like, I wouldn't like redeem to brush my own teeth because you should be doing that or making your bed or whatever. Um, do something like wash your car, um, help you garden, cook your breakfast, something like that. So make it about more about mom or grandma or whoever. So some other things that you'll need at home that um, I did not give you in your kit is you'll need either a rolling pin or some type of cup to roll out. So I have this mug probably not a mug but it I this is all I have with me here so um maybe something without the handle or a rolling pin and that's going to help us roll out the the gel or, yeah the gel and then um you'll need some bowls or just one bowl but you can just kind of see what bowl that you like um it's going to shape our dish for us make it that dish shape so um you can kind of look at the bowls and see what shape you like to, I use this one for the one that I have right here and yeah so I think the smaller bowl worked a little bit better for me so that's it so we're gonna get started I'm gonna pull you guys down okay so now we're gonna come and we're gonna grab our pieces of clay we're gonna take them out of the bag and then we're going to roll them out with our hands so I already rolled a couple my white ones and one of my blue ones and I'm gonna show you how I do that so I'm gonna roll the blue one out and I just do it with my hand and just roll it out. So the length of it, we don't want to make it too long. This is about seven to eight inches would probably be okay. Um, don't make it too long, like I said. You can kind of see the thickness in this. It's still a little bit thick. We don't want it long and thin. So we're gonna roll this out. I like this and I'm moving my hands out. And we want them all to be about the same size. So we don't want to Try to make it as close into size as you can. So you have that one. And then um, either you can just roll this gray one out or whatever, I think it's purple in the other one or any of the other colors. Or we can um, we can actually cut it in half and we can kind of spread it out a little bit more. So the colors, this color gray can be spread out a little bit more in the dish. You can either just keep this together and roll it out and then just stick it in the middle or um, whatever you'd like or like I said I just cut it in half just so I can have it um, kind of separated and a little bit more of the gray so this one will obviously be a little bit skinnier because it was half the clay compared to the other ones we'll just roll that out too It. So next we're going to kind of um, put it in a pattern. It could be just like this. I would kind of spread them out so the colors kind of go um, mix up. So I'm going to do a white, blue, and then a gray, and then a maybe blue. And I'll do white, gray, blue. So it kind of just alternated the colors. And then next we're going to be rolling them up. 
Okay, so next we're gonna take all our pieces together and we're gonna twist them all together. So let's put them a little bit closer. Try not to mess up the pattern. We're gonna take them all. And we're just gonna twist gently. Try not to break it. If you just if you break it, just try to put it back together. We do this nice and gentle. Nice twist. Okay. Now that we gave it a twist, we're gonna put it down and we're gonna roll it out to about the twice of the size that we started with. So they're about seven to eight inches, so I'm gonna make it about um, 14 inches or so. It doesn't have to be exactly, just kinda, you can kinda eyeball it. So now I'm just rolling it out with my hands. Just roll this out, so it is gonna be longer. So this looks about good. I do have a ruler. The ruler is optional as well though. You can kind of, like I said, you can eyeball it. So next, um, if you like how it looks, you can keep it like this. If not, um, I'm going to fold this just like this in half and I'm going to twist it again. I want this to be more um, kind of marble and twisted together, the colors. So I'm going to twist it again, gentle, gently, again. And we're just going to repeat, we're going to twist and then we're going to roll again to about um, double the size as we started with. So like the 7 to 8 inches, make it a little about 14 or so. So we're going to roll this out. And then you just keep um, continuing that step if um, you don't like how blended it is, if you want it more blended. Um, keep doing that so it's twisting it um, and rolling it out and then once you roll it out you fold it in half again I'll show you again so I'm gonna do it one more time so once you roll it out you're gonna fold it in half just like that and we're gonna twist gently you don't want to break it twist it just like that and then we're gonna roll it out to double the size we started with I think this will be my last time and make sure when you're rolling out with the hands you're kind of making it even this part got a little bit skinnier so I moved away from that part to kind of work on the other sides because they're a little bit thicker so make sure you're watching what you're doing. Yeah, so, so that's about it. So now I am content with how this looks. So we're gonna go on to the next part. Okay, so for our next step, we're gonna roll this up kind of like a cinnamon bun. So we're gonna take one end and we're gonna push it and we're gonna make it like a little circle. So kind of like a snail or or cinnamon bun, like I said. We're just gonna rotate it until it's all wrapped together. It's gonna look like that. And then we're gonna gently form it into a ball. So you can kind of squish it. We wanna do this gently. We don't wanna mix it too much. And I'm using like, I'm taking it out of my hand and pressing it to make the shape instead of rolling it with two hands. You could try to roll it with two hands like that. Um, just be careful you don't want to mess up any of them. See, so think this kind of smudged a little bit. That's okay. Okay. So now we have our ball, and we're gonna roll it out. So when we roll it out, um, you're gonna use a rolling pin, a cup 
preferably without the handle or anything that you have that is round. I might try this. This one, I might start with this. So we take our ball. This one's okay. And when we roll it out, we don't want it to make the dish too thin. We don't want to make it too thick or too thin, but I'd rather it a little bit thicker than thinner because if you make it thin, it might um, break in the process. So I'm just rolling and then I'm lifting it um, occasionally throughout the time just to make sure it does not stick in there. And then roll it out, pick it up. Once you have desire thickness that you want, like I said, not too thick, but definitely do not do it thin or you're going to lose the shape. So I have about this thick. Not too bad, not too thin. That's probably just about perfect. So next you're going to cut out your circle shape. So either you can use, you can cut out this template and use this template that I gave you or even the heart one, and you can cut out your shape. I might just use this bowl. So you have a couple of different options. You, Like I said, you can use the templates that I gave you, cut out the templates so you can have a per per perfect circle, or if not, um, you can keep it just as you roll it out. If you want to keep the edges just the way you made it, you can. This is a, actually a pretty good circle maybe a little here is different or you could do the heart it's really up to you um, I might just keep mine how it is looks good to me um, then we're gonna find our bowl so um, I have this bowl and this bowl kind of try different bowls that you have in your cabinets at home um, definitely make sure it's a bowl that can go in the oven so at this point, you you should probably preheat your oven to it was 275. So when you preheat your oven, wait till it gets to that temperature of 275 before we put it in. So while you preheat your oven, and then we're gonna put our clay onto the bowl. So I use this bowl to help me make my other bowl. So I thought this was nice. And then you're just gonna kind of try to center it actually pick what side you like best to be the side that's facing out like that um, I think I like this side because it's a little bit more twisty in there so if you want it the nicer side to be on the top where you put the dishes in it's gonna go face down so try to center it and then just kind of fold it this, the bowl will not stick to, it should not stick to your, your bowl after it's done drying, it will come right off. So I'm kind of just shaping the clay with the bowl. The bowl is kind of helping support it and it's kind of sticking to the bowl, which is okay. Like I said, it's not going to stick to it completely. And I'm just flattening the sides until I feel content on how it looks. So there's my bowl. And then if you do the heart, it'd be like the same way. Um, you would just put it, because you want the heart kind of like a scoop, kind of like this. So kind of make it that shape as well. Okay, so once you have your clay onto the bowl, just like that, um, and your temperature on your oven is at 250 and it's ready to go, you're just gonna stick this in your oven. Um, I'm just gonna say, please be careful to put it in your oven. I would recommend putting it on a baking sheet, which is those larger sheets you usually put cookies on. Just put it right on there and then put the bowl right on top of there. So you're gonna put it like right in your oven, just like that. On, uh, like I said, on top of a baking sheet would probably be the best. So once you do that, we're gonna bake this for 15 minutes. So make sure you put your timer on for 15 minutes. And then once that is over, you're gonna take out your your bowl and it might still be kind of soft when you first take it out, but 
um, once you let it completely dry and cool down, um, it will become harder. So um, I think a couple hours you can just let it cool down. I did mine for 24 hours, like this one, just to make sure it was completely cool and I didn't ruin the shape of it. Because like I said, when it comes out, it's still a little soft because it just came out of the oven and then it hardens. So this one is the one I made. It is hard. And I want to show you the rest of the steps. Okay guys, this is the final part, the final touches of your bowls. So for this bowl that I made, I didn't cut a perfect circle out. I kind of just um, rolled it out and just left it. So it is a little bit um, kind of wavy and stuff at the end, but that's fine. You can really choose what you want to do. So for this look, I actually used the five full pieces instead of cutting any of the pieces in half. So if you like this look better, I would recommend that. Or if you like the blue one a little bit better, I would um, maybe think about cutting them in half. And then I just twisted and rolled them out the same way as well for this one. So next, um, I did give you a little container of paint and a little container of Mod Podge. So um, the paint is for the rim if you choose to do so. You don't have to do this if you like the look that you have. Um, I would definitely not change it if you like it already. So I have the paintbrush and I will show you how I did it a little bit. So I definitely keep it flat because um, if you hang on to it and you do that, you might not be able to see where you're doing it. So maybe try to keep it flat on the table. And we're just gonna paint the edges just a little bit. This is this step is for when your bowl is completely cooled down. You don't want to do this while your bowl is still warm or hot. So, like I said, I recommend about 24 hours to let your bowls cool down. But if you don't want to wait that long, I just would just wait until it's completely cool down to the touch. So if you touch it and you still feel it's warm, I would not recommend doing this. So now I'm just taking the paint and I'm just painting the edges of it. You can do the top edge and then kind of go in on the bottom if you'd like, or it's up to you, or you don't even have to do this step. One coat should be um, enough, I think, but if you want to go over with the second coat, you can do that as well. And it's a little bit duller when you're painting it on but I already painted some of it and it looks a lot shinier once it dries. And like I said, this step is optional so you don't have to do this if you don't want to. So once you've completed that, add a little bit more here. So once you complete that, um, we're gonna let that paint dry first and we're going to go on to the Maj Paj. Okay guys, so here is our last step. So this is an optional step. Um, if you like the way your dish looks like already without um, the Maj Paj, the Maj Paj will definitely just add a little bit of a gloss. You can't really see it here because it's on camera, but there's a little bit of a glossiness that makes it a little bit more smoother and I think it will protect it a little bit more against any damage, So, this, but it is optional. Um, this is pretty sturdy either way, so if you don't want to add the Maj Paj, you don't. So um, if you do, just take your Maj Paj and you're just going to um, cover your whole dish with it, even the gold part, especially the gold part so that it doesn't chip. So I'm just going to go over it. I already, I already did the middle of my bowl, so I'm just going to go over this gold part again. And you're going to do your whole bowl, and then you can decide if you want to do the back side as well. Like I said, it will give it a little bit more protection, especially the gold, um, so it doesn't chip. And after that, you just let that dry, and then your dish is complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed this craft, and I hope you guys um, have a good Mother's Day. And do something nice for your moms. And... We will see you guys later. Bye. Have a good day.